All right, so last week I put out a YouTube community post asking you guys what type of video that you wanted to see. I gave you guys a list of different YouTube videos that you guys could choose from, and you guys ultimately chose how to build up a high converting store. And it makes sense. Trust me, I understand the frustration of doing all this time and effort on finding a winning product and being able to structure all these high converting ads to have this traffic come to your website and not convert. And the reason why your traffic is not converting is because you don't have a high converting landing page and a high converting store for them to be able to take action on so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through on how I build my stores up that have generated me over seven million dollars in sales and just over seventy thousand dollars in sales last month starting from zero and you guys can see that right here I'm currently at seven hundred dollars in sales today it's at 10 a.m. and last month alone starting from zero I made over seventy thousand dollars and this is all because I knew how to convert my traffic into real purchasers. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. What's going on everybody? If you guys are new to my channel, my name is AC Hampton and I'm an eight figure marketer where I help people test, build and scale up profitable e-commerce businesses. Each and every single week, I give out an absolute free consulting call and another special giveaway to one lucky winner to streamline their success with their e-commerce career. If you want the opportunity of winning this one-on-one -on -one call and getting all of your questions answered and helping you out in any way possible, all you have to do is three simple things. The first thing you must do is in the comment section below, comment the word sales and what your biggest takeaway was from this video. The second thing you must do is go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and go ahead and give me a follow. And the third thing you must do is smash that like button below and subscribe to my channel as I have never missed a single week on this platform. And the winner from last week's video will be announced somewhere inside of this video so make sure you stay tuned the entire way through. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so before you get into how to win the bid on Facebook or how to run your ads, you have to have a fire store. So when it comes to being able to build your store and getting those results that you deserve, you gotta focus on two important things. The first thing is a great layout and the second is a great theme so that your store can start converting all the traffic into real sales. And one of the most common questions that I receive all of the time is what type of store do I make? Is it general, is it niche, or is it one product? So for me, I like to start off with a general store. Yes, I like to start off with a general store so I can allow whatever is working in the market to continue to work for me and I don't have to build a thousand different stores. All I have to do is just build some product pages. Now, do I start off with a general store and scale up to a hundred to $200,000 with the product and then transform it into an e-commerce brand? Yes, I do that. But at the end of the day, you can never get to that position until you know how to build up the right store first. All right, so one of the first things that you focus on when you're building a store is to be able to first create a domain and secondly, create a high converting logo and when it comes to being able to choose the domain name of your store do not overthink this ultimately people are not going to care and spend too much time paying attention to the name of your store especially when they're just trying to be able to get a product that they want but again when you do get down the road of creating a high converting e-commerce brand then you need to focus on this a little bit into detail and you guys can check out my exact video right here on how i structure all of my e-commerce brands so whenever i create my logos i like to be able to use a site called canva and for you guys to be able to check out Canva, you can use the link in my description. But the reason why I love using them is because they have pre-built logos. And this just makes my life so much easier as I'm not a graphic designer and I assume most of you guys aren't either. So this helps to streamline the process. I never like to be able to spend too much time on this until I basically find a winning product and create a brand and store around it. So this should only take you around 10 to 20 minutes. So here on Canva, what I like to do for my logos is I like to come over here to create a design and I like to use a LinkedIn banner. This is a very simple, very sleek design and it ultimately looks really good on any store that you use. So for this example, I'm going to base this off of one of my general stores, which is called Air Stiletto. So when it comes to being able to create this logo, it didn't take me that long. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I was able to structure this right now. So I simply just come over here. I click text. I add a heading. I like to make it a pretty good size and then I'm just gonna name it the name of my store. After doing that, I do like to add some italics to it. And you guys can add so many different things on here. You guys can see all these different combinations that they have. You can see all these different styles that they have. And the most popular section of Canva is definitely the elements. So if you have a dog store, you see all these different elements you can add to your logos. 
Let's say it involves water or fishing. Here's another example of what you could be able to use. But again, just for this example, I like to just keep it a little bit more simple. All right, so whenever I'm finished, I like to come over here to download, and now I like to click on transparent background, and then just simply just download it and integrate it onto my store. And then after I go ahead and build my logo, the next thing I like to focus on is creating a homepage for my store. And the step right before you start creating this homepage is clicking on the type of theme that you wanna use. Any type of theme can be able to work for you guys, either free or paid, but you need to be focused on these three simple things. The first thing is making sure that it is a simple design. The second thing is making sure that it is user shopper friendly. And the third is just making sure it looks neat and clean. So for my stores, I like to use either the Debutify theme or I like to use the high converting theme that I give in my blueprint or in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. This link in my description for Debutify is going to allow you guys to be able to get an absolute free trial so that you can be able to explore all the options and see what the best fit is for you. Now, let me show you how I set up my homepage using this exact theme. So here's a breakdown on how I structure my home pages. So at the very top, I like to focus on having an announcement bar. Now this announcement bar is going to be critical for Q4. And I like to highlight it around the season that I'm currently in. So obviously summer's ending soon. So I like to put in my banner, summer sale in soon, tracked and insured delivery with every purchase. And it is so important. I cannot stress it enough that you are structuring your page around the mobile version and the desktop version. So you can see for this example, for the announcement bar, you wanna make sure that the text on desktop is the same as mobile. The next thing I like to have is an image with text overlay. So this image right here can be just a random general image or just an image around the type of feature product that you're trying to sell. So for this store, the feature product that I'm currently selling is an air pump. So because this is the main feature product on this general store, I like to make my homepage around that. So with this image with text overlay, you like to just enter your image, whatever you wanted to put in there. I like to put the heading as the name of my store, a simple text on why they should be able to go ahead and click and start shopping with me, and then just a call to action button for them to start checking out the product that I'm showing. The next layer on my homepage that I like to focus on is rich text. This is just a short, simple text, kind of like a mission statement on what your store stands for. So you can see mine right here says, The Air Stiletto Family. Welcome to Air Stiletto, your number one source for all your needs. We're dedicated to giving you the very best products with a focus on dependability, customer service, and uniqueness. The next thing I like to do is highlight some different products or just some features and benefits of the featured product that I'm currently showing. And you guys can see that I did that right here on just making it look like a nice simple design with just some features being shown. And the next part is critical that you make sure you do this on every store. So whatever featured product that you are currently advertising, you need this to be on the homepage. Because yes, 95% of your traffic is going to go directly to the shop now button, click on your website and just view the product that you're currently showing. But the other 5% is going to start exploring around on your store. So you just wanna make sure that they can find that same product again. So because this air pump is the main product that I'm currently selling, I like to make sure that this is highlighted on the front page. So that is just considered a featured product and that is the product that you'll currently add. And the last section that I like to have on my homepage is a contact us button. So you can see this is just a image with text overlay and it just says contact us 24 seven customer service, reach out to us now with this button. And this is just a simple run through of what it should look like whenever you're finished. So you can just see I set up everything like I just mentioned and you can see whenever I click on the mobile version, I didn't lose any quality here either. And just remember, probably over 90% of people who shop from you are going to be on their phones. So your first and most critical position that you need to be focusing on is the mobile version. Now, when I say I keep my homepage simple, I mean it. I typically never spend more than 20 minutes on this as again, only 5% of people are really gonna spend their time on this page. Now with Q4 coming up, your homepage is critical to make sure that you have because this is a great place to be able to start advertising some deals and highlighting some benefits around the season that we're currently in. Now, after setting up your homepage, you wanna set up the pages on your website. And the pages is everything that you're seeing in this footer section. This is critical to make sure that you have so that customers can be able to trust your business. So you see, I have a contact us, I have an about us, I have an FAQ, terms of service. I mean, I have every page in the book so that customers feel like they are going to be able to know who exactly they're purchasing from. And the reason why I keep all these pages on my store is because I wanna be a trustworthy, credible source to every customer who shops from me. And to be able to set this up, you just simply come over here to online store, come over here to pages, and then you can literally just go ahead and start creating all these different pages that you're seeing. So I'm telling you right now, if you don't have this on your store today, make sure you go ahead and spend the time to go ahead and set this up. 
So after you set up those pages on your store and you finish your homepage, it's now time to focus on the most important part, which is your product page. Now your product page is where converting your customers comes into play. But before we get in that, if you have any questions about this video at all, or you're feeling stuck, or you're just looking for some simple questions to be answered, I'm here to help you guys out in any way possible. You guys can go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and DM me the word YouTube as it's not about how much money you can make in this world, but how much knowledge you can teach others Others to be able to change their lives so DM me to where YouTube if you have any questions at all and I'm looking forward to being able to hear from you guys all right so whenever you're building your product page you want to make sure that you're having three simple colors maximum black white and one other separate color you never want your page to be too busy with a thousand different colors which is ultimately going to distract the customer and have them not purchase from you you always want to keep the customers focused on what they are there for and that is to be able to spend money on your platform Along with keeping the colors subtle, you also want to make sure that your text is very simple and to the point. Remember, people are here to shop from you. They are not here to read paragraphs or they could be somewhere reading a book. In order to be able to keep the customer's attention, I like to start off with an attention grabber text statement. This attention grabber is typically going to be focused around the problem on why people are coming to your store and buying this product from you in the first place. Right under this attention grabber, I like to have a short description on how my product is the problem solver for this issue that they're having and what other features and benefits they're going to be receiving. Also for my product description, I like to limit my text to around two to three sentences max. And in between these breaks of text, I like to have high converting GIFs and product images to keep the user's attention right on my product description. Making sure to be able to show off the top features and benefits of my product to be able to continue to convince the customer that they should be able to purchase from you. Whenever you're done setting up your product page, it should look a little bit like this. So as you guys can see on this product description, I only focused on two colors, only black and white. I have the name of my store as well as the name of the product that I'm showing. I highlight shipping right away with it being seven to 10 day shipping. You can see I have high converting images right on my store. None of these are pixelated at all. And you can see that attention grabber right away. Inflate a car tire within three minutes. Yes, the problem that many people have, I'm highlighting it right away. Which right under that attention grabber, you can see I have that short description. It's saying this air compressor can be easily pressurized to 150 PSI to meet the requirement aeration force for bicycle tires, car tires, footballs, etc. So I'm basically hitting every single thing that people need. So do you see how that's only around two to three lines and then I'm breaking the text with something that's going to grab their attention, which is this high converting GIF. And in this GIF, you can see that it's highlighting my exact attention grabber that I had. So it says inflated car tire within three minutes and look at this phone. You can see that it is stopping around that three minute mark and the tire is fully inflated. Right under that, I have even more features and benefits. So imagine being able to inflate anything anywhere to only a couple minutes, struggle no more. Again, a short description and GIF. Again, same thing, attention grabber, feature and benefit, short description, GIF. Feature and benefit, description, GIF. And again, that is how I like to structure my high converting product descriptions. Now, of course, this product page is extremely important to be able to determine your success that you're gonna have with each product that you sell. But another thing that is so important to have on all of your pages is high converting apps that is going to seal the deal with your customers. And there's a bunch of different apps that I definitely recommend. One of them is going to be Sticky Add to Cart. And you can see I have that right on my store. This Sticky Add to Cart right here on the top of my page is going to allow the customer to be able to continue to add this to cart at any point of them being able to scroll on my page. This automatically increases your conversion rate as it's going to save the customer time from scrolling all the way back up to see if they wanna be able to purchase from you or not. Along with that, another app that I like to make sure I have is a discounted pricing table. This is going to incentivize your customer to be able to purchase more from you and increase your average order value. You would be honestly shocked at how many customers think that they're getting a deal from you because they're ultimately spending some more money on your store, but they're getting a higher discount. And you can see that right here. So it says buy two, get 15% off. Buy three, get 20% off. And buy four, get 25% off. This is again going to continue to incentivize a person to be able to spend more on your store. And I would never build a product page without it. And speaking about putting more money into your pocket, you need to make sure that you have frequently bought together right on your store. This is going to allow you to not only be selling this one product, but two complimentary upsells. So yes, you heard it, complimentary upsells, not just random products. And you can see I have that right on my store. So not do I just have my air pump, but I also have an air compressor and another car air pump that they can choose. 
So it now went from me selling this item for $99 to then being able to bundle all three of these complimentary upsells to come out to around $227. And on top of that, they think that they're getting a huge deal because on all these different products that I'm currently adding as a complimentary upsell, I'm making sure that they have a discounted price. So now it went from $476 to $227 because they added all three to cart. And the last and most important is reviews. You need to ensure that you're having all of these reviews on your store. I do not wanna see you guys not getting those results that you deserve because you didn't spend the time to be able to set up some good reviews. So as you see, all of my reviews have images on them. And as you can see, these reviews don't just say one little line of, I like this product or great shipping or great company. It's actually highlighting some great insight on why other customers should be able to purchase from me as well. So yes, building your product page can definitely take time, but taking the time to be able to build it and making it shopper friendly is only going to be worth it so much for yourself because that is what's going to start convincing customers to be able to purchase from you. And if you're struggling with finding a winning product, make sure you check out this video right here on how I find all of my winning products that you guys can now start structuring a high converting store around. Trust me, the success that you're looking for is right around the corner. You just need to stay consistent with it. And speaking of your success with e-commerce, I'm here to be able to help you guys out in any way possible. So now it's time to be able to announce the free consulting call winner from last week's video. And the free consulting call winner from last week's video is Ruby and Ruby, congratulations on winning. Go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Let me know that you won. We can hop on a Zoom call, cover your product research, cover your high converting store, and get you in the right position for Q4. Again, congratulations on winning. And if you're wanting the opportunity of winning an absolute free consulting call with me to streamline your success with e-commerce and another special giveaway, make sure that you do all three requirements that I mentioned at the very beginning of this video. I'll see you guys next week to continue to give you guys as much value as I possibly can and continue to create this generational wealth with each other. Remember to turn on those post notifications so that you can be the first to be able to watch and make sure that you go ahead and like this video to show me some love. This is AC and I'm out. When you got it like that Like Jake said, we gon' spend it, get it right back Stack that internet money to the site crash They on